Hey everyone, it's the Builders Doctor here. Uh, for today's video, um, I had some people ask me about if I could do a video talking about different types of cue balls. So this video is going to tell you about the basics, the different variations of cue balls. I mean, they're mostly all the same, but there are some differences that you should be aware of. Um, so first, like I want to talk about the measles aramith cue ball. Okay, this is also called the Pro Cup cue ball. Um, this is the one here. You can see it has um, has these dots on it, six dots on it. And um, this is like, this is a US tournament favorite ball. So they use this in a ton of tournaments. Um, this is one of the most widely used balls in professional pool. It's really nice. So you're like, what's the difference between this cue ball, which is like $30 versus, you know, one of these house cue balls here. And just pull out a pocket here at this random pool hall. Well, the biggest difference is that you're gonna feel like you can give much more spin and you're gonna get a much cleaner contact with like a measles aramid cue ball here. Um, immediately, you're gonna be able to tell, you're gonna be able to spin shots and we're gonna have better cue ball control. It's just made out of a material that's just better quality. Uh, it's more homogeneous throughout, meaning that like the material is the weight is perfectly balanced. Uh, you may not get that in all the cue balls that you play with. Uh, if you, you know, get like an old crappy beat up cue ball, um, it's not going to dent as easily. So like in this cue ball here, you can already see there's like little tiny dents in it and stuff like that. So you're not going to get that with these other high quality cue balls. So this is the measles aramid cue ball. As I said, this is like a favorite. If you're going to buy a cue ball and you're going to be willing to spend $30, like this is definitely the best one to buy. The Cyclops cue ball the, uh, is the next one I want to talk about. And the Cyclops cue ball has a single dot the single red dot just like this. And um, this cue ball is also really nice. This is like probably 20, $25. And the Cyclops cue ball is very similar to the Aramid measles cue ball. In fact, they're pretty much identical. They both have um, that really high quality feeling to it. You're gonna feel like you can generate more spin with it. You're just gonna feel like a, just a crisper, cleaner hit when you use these two cue balls. These are both amazing. Um, the Cyclops cue ball gets used a lot in like Chinese eight ball tournaments. They really like to use this ball for some reason, but the Aramith measles ball is used a lot in US tournaments. Um, so those are, these are like the two big ones that are used um, in tournaments. Like I said, they're both about the same. Um, the, the Aramith one's a little bit more expensive, but they're really both awesome. And they have the dots on them so you can see the spin of the ball. So like when you put on sides, but it'll spin sides, you can see the dots moving. So it's, it's more fun to watch, but it tells you like what the spin is and stuff like that too. Um, a couple other cue balls I want to talk about. I don't actually have them, but um, I played with them before. Aramith makes a couple different versions of cue balls. Um, they have, for example, the red dot cue ball. So when I say a dot, okay, it is literally going to be like, it looks just like this. It's a red dot that's by Aramith. So it's going to be, it's going to look similar to this. It's going to have a red dot that's going to be circled in red. It's going to be all red through, all the way through, okay? And the red dot cue ball by Aramid is actually going to be heavier. It's going to be a heavy ball. So it's actually heavier than these cue balls. So these cue balls are supposed to be the exact same weight as the object balls. They're supposed to be the same weight as any of these balls that we pick up out of the pocket. It's supposed to be about the same weight. Um, the red dot cue ball by Aramid is actually heavier, which means you're going to have a really hard time moving it around the table. Getting top spin, back spin, all that stuff is going to be heavier because the ball is going to want to stop. It's not going to want to move very much further. Okay, so that's the red dot cue ball. I don't really recommend. I don't even know if I can necessarily think of a reason why that would be good to practice with, but they have it out there. The red circle cue ball is the next one I talked about. The red circle cue ball is also by Aramis, and instead of having it has one thing on it, but instead of having it be enclosed with a red dot, this is a dot, right? It's built in. It's a circle, so it's the only the outside part. So it's red on the outside, it's like a ring on the outside, and then it's white on the inside. Okay, that's the red circle cue ball by Aramith. That's actually gonna be a lighter cue ball. That cue ball's gonna be really light. A lot of people like to play that for nine ball because it's really light. You can really get it to move around the table. It zings around the table a lot, okay? So that's the type of thing that they people would use in nine ball. But like I said, it's lighter than the object ball, so you can actually get it to move a lot more than like one of these cue balls but you want as much cue ball control. So then the blue circle cue ball is the next one to talk about, and that's also by Aramith. So blue circle cue ball, also by Aramith, um, that's gonna be a standard cue ball. That's like a standard house cue ball that they just have. So that's like, supposed to be the same weight as these, 
right? It's not lighter or heavier, right? The red circle we said was lighter. The red dot was heavier. The blue circle, which I said blue circle, meaning literally it's going to be like blue, but instead of having like a filled in dot, it's going to be just a ring, just a blue like ring around the outside. That's going to be like a standard cue ball. It's going to be the same weight as these cue balls, same weight as an object ball. And it's nice quality, like it's better than like this one. This is just like one that comes with like the set. It's like really cheap set, but um, it's not going to be as nice of quality as these balls, as your Aramis or, you know, the, these ones right here as the um, measles or any of these things. Um, but it's still going to be a nice cue ball. And that's a really good cue ball still. Um, that being said, so how do you know when a cue ball goes bad? Well, you'll notice that when cue balls go bad, they become lighter. They become very light. And you'll notice you'll have harder time with cue ball control and they'll just be really light. Like you'll notice like when you shoot with it, it just feels lighter. It doesn't feel the same. You don't get that same clean, crisp hit. So you may have to get a new cue ball after, you know, it depends on how often you play. If you play three times a week, you may have to get a new cue ball after a year and a half or so. It just depends, you know, do you, do you, do you break with it? Do you do things with it? Like I, I, I recommend breaking with it because I mean, you should practice breaking with it, but at the same time, it does wear it out a little bit. Um, you'll be able to tell. It'll be lighter and it'll kind of fade a little bit and things like that. So um, that's just a general overview of the main cue balls um, that are used in the U.S. Um, I'm sure there are other types, but those are the main ones. Like I said, these two are the main ones you're going to want to get. Like I said, this is the Cyclops cue ball. And the Cyclops cue ball has that single red dot filled in. It's going to be about, I think it's $22 or $25. And then the measles Aramis cue ball here is probably like the US favorite cue ball. This is like the one you see on tournaments. This is my personal favorite. I love it. It gives that crisp hit. It's solid. You can see the spin with all the dots um, and it's really great. So uh, I'll put a link in the description for you guys to order from different places. But um, I guess I'm not being sponsored by any of these. I'm just telling you like from my experience playing in tournaments, like these two are the ones that get used. And it's really fun to practice with the cue ball that you're gonna play with in tournaments. And to be honest, it's like, it's nice to have your own cue ball too. Um, you'll be able to tell the difference immediately. So this is the Billiards Doctor. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.